So I totaled that. That was last October. But because of that, it put us in position. can never tell sometimes it beeps sometimes it doesn't good morning guys welcome back to my channel today is saturday and we are going to a car meet we're gonna meet some some nice folks over at hendrick um over in Cary, north carolina check it out <clears throat> they met at seven o'clock who's who's gonna be there at seven that's crazy it's saturday i don't get up that early doesn't sound as loud when it's facing the other direction but anyway yeah, taking the Challenger. Still waiting on the rims. I think they'll have them probably next week. Um, anyway, yeah. That's, a, that's another project. Got the new radar detector in here. And, uh, yeah, should be a fun ride. Come on along. Let's see what we find. Be strong. Be strong. Turn Looks left. like a pretty good turnout. There's the car I wanted to see. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Awesome. Wow, nice. Some nice rides here. How you doing? Well, we got some nice rides here today. <laughs> Looking pretty good. Look at 
is. But we're gonna get some good footage. You've arrived. Destination is How's it going, man? We got some good footage here today. So let me know how you like the footage of this camcorder here. This is the new Sony. Oh, this thing's got a turbo on it. Rod. It's got headers. That's similar to what I was thinking of getting so. Wow, look at this. Oh, these are nice rims. Oh, a good looking truck right here, boy. Wow. I can actually see the screen on the camcorder today. Man, look at that. So the new Corvettes are here. Wow. Designed for little people. Because I don't think I could. Rims look good. Yeah. Let's take a look at this thing here. Really? How you doing? Hey, how are you, sir? Good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, how are you? Oh, sure. Can we? Can you tell us about? Uh, his brother was diagnosed with ALS three years ago, so they had always had a dream of racing cars together. So at that time, they went and bought two Z28 Camaros from us at Hendrick Chevrolet. Um, they had Hennessy do a package. They raced them. They got into it. Um, they had uh, bought a ZL11 LE to get a little bit quicker. And, um, his brother was driving the Z28 and couldn't, couldn't shift. Um, it got to the point where he could drive and he just couldn't get into gear. So um, Scott bought him a ZL1 one LE automatic and then was able to race that about twice around the track. Set a record his first time out because the guy can drive. Um, unfortunately, um, days at the point now where he can't drive on the track anymore. Um, but Scott bought this this year and just got delivered three weeks ago to VIR. Uh, and uh, it was great. Um, the VIR event raised $51,000 for racing for uh, ALS DDI uh, research. And, um, so he brought it to this event as a friend for me because uh, uh, folks to go are friends of mine as well. Uh -huh. And I uh, wanted to bring it out to try and get some more people to come and take a look. And I figured while we were here, we could sell some t-shirts and some hats and race some money for ALS. And, and uh, we have a QR code at the bottom for donations. They're going to take one a sticker they can. If we have hats all the way to small, all the way to double extra large, and shirts all the way to 4XL. So we got y'all covered if you want to do it's an incredible, incredible. Uh, you, do, you get Cameron involved. You do. Yeah. Thank you. Do what? Guys, you like another seat? Oh, you two of these. Put them on my car window. So I'm gonna make a donation when possible. Water and my car just hit the wall about 80 miles an hour. So I totaled that. That was last October. But because of that, they put us. All right, check out the demon. That's what I need on the front of mine, that SRT. <laughs> Got the red seat belts. Hmm. Got the 
small spoiler in the back. They got on here. ones right here in this convertible. Uh, sorry if I'm shaking a little bit here on this camcorder. Use two hands. This is pretty cool. I love this convertible. Wow. Is that yours? I love this. Well, I love both of them, but I like the black and color. Getting in trouble yet? No. No. <laughs> Keep it that way, right? Yeah. <laughs> SVT, man. Wow. Terminator. Oh, look at that. One LE. A gorgeous car right here. I love this color. Probably not the most comfortable thing to drive, but oh my God. Need one of these in my driveway. In my garage. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I need one of them. Absolutely. I've always been a Camaro fan. I just couldn't fit in them. Couldn't ease in and out. They're just, mm. look at that Hellcat wide body. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, into the uh, supercharger. Spotless. Yeah, my first car was a 69 Mustang, so when you've been taking a liking to that, that's a lot of That's what I hate. From the car shows, I'm always overshadowed. The RT. I hate the. We can get a red eye. I can see it. I don't know, but then if I had a red eye, it's going to be not fast enough, I'll leave something faster. So. I had a friend of mine that had one of these. 390. How, how, how did I miss this? I don't know if I'm going for the gold rims, but... Nevo. He's getting all the brake dust, too. <laughs> We've been driving this thing. Right now they got a Porsche up there. 
that is valued at $10 million. It's uh, one of... Oh, here we go. Supercharger. Looking good. See, I like that with the yellow calibers. That looks like actually pretty good right there. Because I gotta rough it up to paint it, right? I won't stick to that. Oh, we really switched it. We don't have to probably wear it. Well, I have to ask too bad you can let it It's already 80 degrees and it's, US 64 eastbound. it's uh, 922 in the morning and it's already 80 degrees. So yeah, you got to do this stuff early. Now there's another cruise in over in Sanford. I don't know what that's all about. I don't know. I want to stand around and hang out and chat. I just, um, so it should be married to mass. There's one guy wearing, I didn't wear mine because I figured I'd try to keep the social distancing. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I have to admit, as I was talking to myself, I saw a little piece of spit come out of my mouth. I'll admit it. It does happen. I wasn't facing him, though. I think when you talk, you need to do be a, not only the six-foot rule, but I think you should be, like, at right angles from each other. So if you talk, you're not, you know, protruding whatever in their direction. I don't normally spit, but it was, I could see a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, yeah. So, I'm gonna head back home, help out around the house, and uh, maybe I'll have a date with my wife this afternoon. 